Hello, this is Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and in this video, I'm going to show how we can get the cross-sectional area of a void inside an Autodesk Inventor part. So here we go. Here I've got this ring, and I want to get the area of one of these cloverleaf shape openings here. So if I wanted to get the area of a face, that's not hard. I choose the tool, pick a face, and there's my area. But when faced with a void, you don't have anything to pick. So what do we do? Here's the trick. Go to your boundary patch tool and select the edges you want to patch. And as I select those edges, we can create a patch that fills that face in with a surface and then I can go ahead and I can get the area of that surface. No problem. Since it's a surface, it doesn't change the volume of the part and it can be easily suppressed when you don't need it. Another trick you can use, if you want to make sure you get the interior of the part and avoid any fillets or anything that might throw off the result, you can create a sketch, offset into the part, use slice graphics, and then project cut geometry. Now you've got a face that you can go ahead and apply the boundary patch to and quickly get the result for the interior should there be any changes in the interior. So that's it for this video. It's a neat little trick and not that hard once you know it. Thanks for watching everybody.